Have you ever wondered what your favourite childhood TV show characters would look like if they were horrified? It may be just me, but I have. So this is what I'm going to be doing today is turning those characters that I grew up with into completely terrifying, horrid things that you would never in a hundred million years let your kids watch at all. Mr. Squiggle was an Australian children's TV series that was on the ABC. The ABC is a channel here in Australia. Now the first episode aired on the 1st of July in 1959 and it ran until 1999. Now every episode only ran for about five minutes and it was always like a intermission kind of um, little thing that would come in between full length uh, TV series uh, so yeah the episodes were not very long at all now the gist of the show is Mr. Squiggle is um, he's a puppet that is attached with strings he would fly down to earth from the moon and he would receive these canvases um, or these big bits of paper uh, that had a few random lines or squiggles on them and he would draw a completely finished piece from just these little random lines and squiggles. Now most of the pictures were drawn upside down which was actually quite funny and uh, so the female assistant that was always there and the only the, the main one that I remember was Miss Jane um, she was the one that was around when I was watching Mr. Squiggle a lot. Um, the the uh, assistants were always human, they were always a human female. They would always hold Mr. Squiggle's hand while he drew on the canvas. Usually the uh, canvases would come in from uh, the children audience that would watch. They would send in their ideas and um, their squiggles for Mr. Squiggle to turn into an illustration. So the characters, obviously, Mr. Squiggle is the main character. He is just a marionette with a pencil on his nose um, so he can draw. He's just a big lead pencil. His home is the moon and he flies down to earth in his rocket to draw all these pieces. Sometimes he would spacewalk, which, you know, he would float up and to the sky and the assistants would always try to pull him back down because Mr. Squiggle for some reason got very uh, sidetracked on the, on the show and would always um, just babble about stuff or just try to fly away. It was, it's actually, <laughs> when you think about it, it's a, it's a little bit of a, a little bit weird. Um, yeah, so like I said, the assistants that I remember is Miss Jane um, the other main characters um, as well is Blackboard. Now Blackboard is the um, obviously the board that the canvases go on that Mr. Squiggle draws and help, helps Mr. Squiggle draw. Um, he is a grumpy, impatient um, board and he is always saying um, catchphrases such as hurry up and boring <laughs> and would always just groan and mumble. It was actually quite funny. <laughs> um, he was just so, he was just, he was just a big grumpy blackboard. Um, the other characters was Gus the Snail who always really liked to tell corny jokes and Bill the Steam Shovel who also loved to tell uh, jokes and would always have like this steam coming out of his nose which was talcum powder. I absolutely could not, I could not wait for Mr. Squiggle to come on uh, in between the TV shows that I was watching on the ABC uh, because I always loved, well, obviously this is the artist in me, I always loved to see what he was going to draw next. And it was just so fun. I loved it. And that's the biggest, that was like the biggest draw card. And plus, as a child too, the, uh, the silly corny jokes that the snail and the steam shovel would say um you know as a kid you giggle at it but when you like watch it as an adult you just think 
okay. <laughs> Although uh, I did watch an episode the other day and it did, did crack me up a little bit, I must admit. Definitely going back and watching some of the episodes uh, being so old. Some of it's just weird and some of it can be quite creepy. And um, yeah, like there's something creepy about a marionette doll. Like it's, I just don't really, um, <laughs> I don't really like them as an adult, but as a child, this never freaked me out. Just loved Mr. Squiggle. He was just like the bomb. Um, but what I really wanted to do with this illustration was I really wanted to turn Mr. Squiggle into something completely terrifying. As you know, that's the aim of the game. I wanted to sort of make him very, uh, very homicidal. I just drew him like he is like this completely possessed looking um, like scary clown and he's actually got Miss Jane's hand. He cut it off with an axe, took it back to the moon. Well he's, he's heading to the moon so the, the gist of where he is standing on now is that he is but he's just on a like a, a big rock flying back to the moon. He decided that he was just gonna, you know, ditch his rocket and just sit on this asteroid while it flew back to the moon. So that's what that's what it looks like. So you see the moon in the background, and he's holding up Miss Jane's hand, um, and he is escaping with <laughs> with her hand that he has cut off, and there is blood everywhere, as usual. And you've got blackboard standing in the background with the most grumpiest look on his face and just looking like he has no idea what is going on, but he's angry anyway. <laughs> so that that's, uh, that's what I did for this illustration. Now, let me know with all you overseas people, have you heard of Mr. Squiggle? Was Mr. Squiggle only something that was obviously created in Australia, but was it only broadcast in Australia? Did anyone else um, see it in 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 your own country because uh, I'm very curious because a lot of these sort of shows that are based here in Australia and made here in Australia don't tend to go anywhere else um, like we see we see a lot of stuff from all over the world here but a lot of our stuff isn't really seen by the rest of the world so yeah Please let me know if you have ever heard or seen Mr. Squiggle, but you are not from Australia at all. I'm very curious to know. Also for Blackboard, because he was a Blackboard, um, I wanted to do his features in like a chalky kind of outline. So I grabbed one of my white pencils and I went over all his features to make it look like they had been drawn on with a piece of chalk. In this video, you'll f the three that um, the three characters that I'm doing for this video um, are in the TV shows that I am representing in this video are the TV shows that I absolutely loved the most. There is quite a few others that I had that were in that list, but I found that these ones would have been the best for me to draw as horror characters.
Oh my god, rug rats. This was just the absolute epitome of all cartoons for me when I would come home from school and I would sit down in front of the TV and I would wait for Rugrats to come on. I absolutely loved it. Now, Rugrats is an American children's TV cartoon and it ran from 1991 to about 2004, I should say. Um, Rugrats follows the lives um, and is from the perspectives of the babies and toddlers that are in this TV show, which is um, Tommy, Chucky, Phil and Lil and Angelica. And these are the main characters and they, you know, have always have like daily adventures that they would go on. And this is what I absolutely loved about this show. Now, Tommy is the leader of the group and he's the main character and he is only one years old and he is very adventurous as always gets himself into interesting situations. Now, Chucky. Chucky is the one that I am doing for this illustration today because Chucky is Tommy's best mate, but he is a scaredy cat. He's so insecure. He's a two-year-old, red-headed and nasally voiced little toddler and he's a pain in the butt <laughs> always used to get angry at chucky so because he just frustrated me now phil and lil were twins and they were very kooky they were weird they would say the funniest shit and they loved eating weird things like worms and insects which was always gross and Angelica, she was just a little bitch. She was a selfish, spoiled little three-year-old um, and she was the cousins. Um, she would always go against the others and always threw a spanner in their adventures and always turned it into something completely um, horrible or, or something. Or she just intervened and just did no good things. Absolutely loved watching Rugrats because of the adventure and the friendship that they had. Um, and it really did remind me of all the adventures that I would have when I was young. I <laughs> wasn't as young as these, but um, like when you're like a five-year-old or even six, seven-year-old and you would have your parents go around to their friends' barbecues and you would go and hang out with their kids and it was it really reminded me of that and and we would go on so many adventures like because back in the 80s and beginning of the 90s which is what i grew up in like it was an era that was really cool it was really lax and we got hurt we drank from garden hoses we did just bullshit <laughs> we just did some crazy crazy shit so this Rugrats really reminded me um, of what you know of my childhood adventures and I just I really loved watching it for that uh, I honestly um, did mull over the um, ideas of doing Angelica because I thought she would have been a perfect monster for this um, challenge today but I went with Chucky because Chucky is a scaredy cat and I really want to turn Chucky into a monster because I know that he is like the complete opposite of a monster. Angelica just would have been easy and Chucky is just, you know, completely polar opposite. So I really just wanted to do that for Chucky. Now I went with like the pussy sores and, um, you know, all that sort of oozing uh, green pus from Chucky because um, in the cartoon Chucky is quite snotty and because uh, he's quite nasally it reminded me of snot so I naturally sort of went with that idea of creating these sores that ooze like this disgusting pus because I honestly believe like Chucky would have allergies and this is something that would potentially happen to him because it's just the way he is. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just wanted to have this oozing grossness coming from him and I turned his teeth into like these fangs and then I gave him like predator fangs at the sides of the mouth as well. I was just totally feeling that. I just thought it was very fitting. And then for his legs, I just went a little bit left wing and decided to do like metal robotic sort of um, sort of touch to him with some little metal um, feet and just give him sort of like um, Patrick Starfish kind of legs. 
um, because I just felt as though it was just it was just appropriate um, for this particular illustration and um, that was a last minute decision as well uh, that was not something that I planned on doing I planned on doing Chucky's full um, feet with his little sneakers but as I got drawing this is how it turned out and I have no regrets whatsoever Perfect. The final one in this video today is a show called Trapdoor. Now, it was a British horror and dark fantasy clay animation TV show from the 80s. Once again, like Mr. Squiggle, the episodes only ran for five minutes and it was kind of like an intermission in between full, um, full episodes. Now, <laughs> actually trapdoor was before most of the time was before rugrats so i was able to watch trapdoor then go straight into a rugrats so it was awesome i don't know who planned that out but they just knew that i just loved that way that they did that now trapdoor is full of monsters i absolutely <laughs> love this show for this and it was set in a castle Burke is the main character and beneath the castle um, houses these horrible things and the only thing between uh, Burke and like all his friends and serve and the servants and obviously the creepy thing that lives upstairs is a trapdoor now the trapdoor was never to be opened, but for every episode, the trapdoor ends up coming open and things crawl out. <laughs> it's just what happens. So the master is the, th they call, well, Bert calls him the thing upstairs. He lives in the attic and you never see, you never see this thing, but all he does is shout orders at Burke when he's hungry, annoyed, or, you know, wants something. Burke is a blue creature, I'm not sure what he is, but he's a blue creature and he's the main character and caretaker of the castle and he is told by everybody, by his friends, not to open the trapdoor, but he doesn't listen, Burke never listens, he's just so, you know, cool, calm and collected that he just does whatever he wants and <laughs> even if it's not intentional, it happens, it just, the trapdoor ends up becoming open. 
Now, Boney is the companion of Burke, and he's a human skull, and he's, um, yeah, he is Burke's best mate, basically. He's intelligent, but he complains a lot, and he fails miserably to inform Burke when something comes up out of the trapdoor. He's hopeless, in other words. Now, Drut. Drut is cute. He is Burke's pet, and he is like his little fat spider. He runs around making farty noises. This is what makes me laugh. He doesn't talk. He just makes these weird noises, and he's always chasing worms, and he is just my favorite. He is just so cute, these noises that come out of, <laughs> of him. It just makes me laugh. Like, this show makes me laugh so much. It's just... It's warped, it's creepy, it's weird, and I absolutely love it. So with this illustration, I had to combine Burke and Drut. So what I did was I actually literally fused Drut and Burke together. So basically where there should be Burke's arm on his left side is Drut, has just been Frankenstein to the side of yeah, of Burke's arm right there. <laughs> so yeah, I decided to do that because uh, I just thought it would be a nice creepy touch to the whole illustration. And uh, I think it works. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this video today. Hopefully you enjoyed watching the three, uh, the three children's TV shows that I loved watching and I grew up with and let me know what was your favorites even if I haven't heard them I will google them and have a look um, because it's always fun like they're so nostalgic and um, as I was watching some of these episodes I could just remember myself as like a, as, as a child um, and even an early teen sitting down and watching these TV shows it's just it's just so cool to sort of go back and watch some of these so yeah like i said hopefully you enjoyed this video uh and i am out of here i will see you guys in the next one bye